So a little over a year ago, I bought this blooper pedal by Chase Bliss. Very nice, bunch of knobs, pretty cool pedal. Only issue is that I've used it maybe four times since I bought it and this thing was $500. Bruh. So have I got my money's worth out of it? Absolutely not. But I was hoping maybe I'll be able to make a video and make a sample or a beat or something with this thing. I don't know, we'll see. Apparently this is like the pedal that every sample maker wants and has to have. I haven't found it to be that crazy yet, but I haven't really dove that deep into it. So I'm sure there's a lot of stuff I just don't know about it. From what I understand, there's like two knobs right there. You see it says mod A and mod B and then all these switches on the bottom. You can switch these to whatever number and then it gives you like a different effect on the modulator knob. And there's a bunch of buttons and switches on the back too. This is a whole other thing that I don't I don't know so let me just hook it up we'll see if I can make anything good with it I'm not gonna lie bro routing this is a whole job in itself like I don't really understand how to do this I've watched every video okay that's not right I'm just gonna make a melody really quick run that through the pedal and see if we get anything cool out of that solid melody to start off with i'm gonna put this pattern right here and then record it into the blooper pedal we should be able to mess with it from there there we go i don't really know what direction i want to take this or even what to do with it so i'm honestly just gonna start pressing buttons and turning knobs and see if there's anything cool that comes out of it also one more thing i forgot to mention is i'm gonna record everything i do into edison that way if i catch something cool on accident i'll have it So one of the things I do know about this pedal, it acts as a looper pedal, but with all these crazy effects. So I can take this new loop that I created and then record over it and put even more effects on there. So I'm gonna try to do that right now. could be something like i was saying earlier another cool thing is there's all these switches on the back so not only do you have all of these knobs you also have all of these switches that can create even more effects than the ones that i already have there's one that says bank a and bank b i'm pretty sure i can switch those and it gives me like six more effects i'm gonna try that Thank you for ch So I think y'all kind of get the idea. I could sit around and mess with this thing for like an hour, just making a bunch of crazy different textures and sounds and everything. But I'm gonna put this, what I recorded into FL and see if I can like chop it up or get something crazy out of there. All right, so just for reference, this is the original melody that we started with. Super dry, no effects, nothing like that. Throughout this whole pedal, whatever we got a bunch of crazy like chops out of it so i'm gonna listen through this and see if there's anything cool in here that i like that i want to try to flip and just see what we can do with it so i kind of like this part right here I think I'm gonna go with something like that, just something kind of simple and we could build off of it. All 
All right, so I think that's what we're gonna go with for the chop. One of the things about running through pedals, if y'all don't know, is your signal's gonna be in mono. So what I'm gonna do is put like a chorus effect on there. You can put like an S1 from Waves or something just to kind of give it like a stereo effect. The next thing I'm gonna do is put a bass line on there to kind of help build a chord progression out. This one's always good. add like another kind of bell sound to maybe layer on top of it maybe do like a counter melody okay honestly this is feeling way too slow for me i'm gonna just render everything and try to speed it up this section is all right for now but i need a b section it does something different with the melody or something let me try to just loop this So I think that's gonna be all I'm gonna do to the melody. I kind of wanted that main chop to kind of carry the vibe and just have some little like accents around it here and there. But I'm gonna go ahead and throw it back. In... Yo, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw it back. Pause into FL Studio, um, make a beat around it. And yeah, if y'all wanna download this loop, I'm gonna put it in the description, put a Dropbox link so y'all can go make beats to it as well. But yeah, let's go go. <laughs> I think that's pretty much it. This booper pedal really has a lot of stuff that I still got to learn, but kind of understand the hype. Like this is, it's got some crazy sounds and some crazy things it can do. So other than that, again, if you want this melody, it's going to be down in the description. All the sounds that I used in this beat and in this melody are on my website, bassone.com. That's all going to be linked below. Other than that, appreciate y'all for watching. I'm out.